What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with the epic Spanish league attackers. We will be streaming today but first I wanted to give a quick review and player builds for Eto, Bojan Kurkic and of course Morientes. So Eto is going to be the highlight pick of this pack and I do feel that he is going to be the new... Listen I say there's a new meta man every week but the players that they're releasing now they pretty much don't have any weakness because you're able to give them the booster crafter and I, I do feel as if that these cards are are definitely going to be kind of switching it up, especially when they start to release the likes of Vieira, the likes of Romario, the likes of uh, Rijkaard and Hullet again as the double boosters. And you might only say that, yes, it's only a plus one to the double booster, but of course, that's going to mean that you can actually put stats up a little bit higher because you have that kind of catch-all if you want to hit a certain threshold. Now, I'm going to do a video on certain thresholds per stat, per player, and per their ability, but again, Morientes, I'll give you a quick tip, lads. If you see in the trailer, right, and this is something that I've learned, if you see in the trailer kind of the clips that are being used to showcase the cards, right, whether it's a dribble and shoot, whether it's in the air like Morientes here, that's kind of a guide as to like where the players excel most. Now, obviously with Morientes, as we'll show you here, he is probably the weakest of the three, but the rest of the cards, man, are very, very, very nice, especially Bojan. He's a very nice card. He's probably way more overpowered than he should be. But Samuel Eto'o especially has phenomenal finishing. He's a fantastic card, which we'll get to in a sec. But first, it is going to be Morientes. Um, again, you're, like, you're going to have what I call here a hybrid, a hybrid kind of tar target man, Fox in the Box uh, style player. Now, Fox in the Box can be quite difficult. But one key tip on Fox in the Box is to actually kind of lean into the player's AI and lean into his attacking awareness or his offensive awareness. And let the AI make really good runs for you. Like, every time you get the ball at Morientes, it should be just pressing square to shoot for tap-ins, for aerial, you know, battles, for, you know, headers. Uh, and, and really kind of like link-up play is not going to be his strong point here because of his low pass and because of just this card is slightly bulky. Uh, it's kind of like in the Harry Kane mold. Same kind of height, same kind of build, same kind of, um, you know, base model that you're going to use here, right? But we do have a very cheeky build for Morientes, right? So this is the build. It's 9 into shooting, 0 into passing, 4 into dribbling, 11 into deck, 7 into lower body, and of course 4 and 5. So 4 into aerial strength and 5 into goalkeeper 1. And we are also going to be thrown on the aerial crafter boost to this card, right? That is going to mean that we were going to be raising with the booster that we give him. We're going to be raising his finishing to 95, his header to 99, his jump to 95, and his physical contact with the boost here should go to 90. So you're still going to have, you know, a fairly decent card, but that is not going to hit certain thresholds for run and gun. The big key stat on this guy is his offensive awareness, trust me. Get that over 95, and you will see him make really nice runs. In fact, you should just literally, as I said, you should just be passing the ball to Morientes, uh, and really just kind of like letting him loose and uh, kind of like that Diego Forland style, you know, um, he's not a run and gun and he never is going to be no matter what build that you give him. So uh, his player skills are quite decent as well. He's got area superiority and heading. We want to turn him into kind of like a mostly in the air type striker, right? Now, next up, we're going to we're going to take a look at Boyan or Bojan Kurkic. I remember when this guy burst onto the scene as an 18 year old and this is the version of the card here so it's definitely his most you know probably exciting card uh that they were going to release obviously he kind of transitioned into more of a center forward later on in his career and of course he kind of went downhill man he did go downhill I mean I remember him playing in the Premier League I remember him kind of like he never really pushed on even though he was a fantastic player and they were saying he was the next Messi obviously and I always remember Giovanni de Santos as well from uh, Barcelona back in the day but it's a very strong card. I mean, he give him flip-flap and he's going to have the ball roll or the advanced double touch because he already has double touch and soul control. Long-range curler, outside curler, first-time shot, no-look pass, gamesmanship, super sub. You know, I think uh, flip-flap and one-touch pass are a must on this card because his passing stats are quite low. But he's down as a prolific winger that can play left, right, central, or as an SS. It's a very decent card with 31 levels. It's it's very decent, man. It's it, In fact... Like, if you look at his card here, he's going to go to about 102, 103 overall with the Booster Crafter. Now, we are going to give him the Technique Booster. He does have Technique off the rip, but that's what we're also going to give him if you're if you're crafting a booster because that's going to raise his tight possession to 95, his low pass to 80, and his ball control and dribbling are going to be around that sweet spot as well. Ball control won't get to 95, but it'll be 94. Dribbling will be 97. And it is just a really good card, man, especially having 80 pass on a prolific winger with 85 finishing. Um... 
yeah, it's very solid. 90 speed, 98 acceleration, 93 balance, 86 stamina. Very, very solid. 85 kick and power, 84 curl. It's a very, very solid card. And again, with Bojan here, lads, he's got the skills that you want, obviously. But also, with the 31 levels, you can kind of train him up a little bit uh, different than you would most prolific wingers. Especially if you want to mess around with his shooting and his passing. You can get both to 85, which is nice at this stage in the game, right? But all eyes are going to be on Samuel Eto'o, right? I do think that Bojan Karkic is going to be the kind of the hidden gem of this pack, but it is going to be Phenomenal Finishing Eto'o. Now, I think they've kind of nerfed down Phenomenal Finishing a little bit since they released a couple of players before. Um, but I do feel as if that this player here is going to be very, very decent, man. Especially if you are thinking of uh, Samuel Eto'o as kind of like a run and gun style card. Um, it's always interesting to have a card that has off the rip, double touch and soul control, because you only need to give him flip flap. I've been very lucky to get flip flap multiple times, so I do feel as if that, like, you're going to have a player with this speed and this power, and in fairness, man, I, I do actually want to test out Samuel Leto, to be honest with you. We have coins, we probably will spin on our main account, but I do feel that this card is definitely going to be the new meta. I say it every week, there's a new meta card, but... These cards just have no weakness, as I said at the, uh, uh, in the opener, you know, with phenomenal finishing, the cards you can train are just really nice. And the extra booster, as you see here, we would be giving him an extra booster of agility with this build. And that means that you're going to pretty much have a card completely like off, uh, you know, where you want him to be, completely off the charts, right? As I said, this is Samuel Leto here. You're going to be giving him the booster and effectively getting his balance to 85, his stamina to 90. His acceleration is going to be like 102, 103. Speed is going to be nearly maxed out at 99. And look at the rest of the card. 90 finishing, 85 tight possession, 85 balance with booster crafting. Offensive awareness is over 95. Ridiculous. Ball control, dribbling. He's going to have double touch or advanced double touch. Everything that you could want on this card. The only thing he doesn't have, obviously, is physicality and header. But to be honest with you, for the speed that he has, I don't think that's going to be an issue. And listen, when you take a look at the players and their form, right? If you take form into consideration, if he's got on an up arrow, look at the stats that he's going to have, man, straight off the rip. Now, obviously, they don't have these uh, form arrows with the visual guide anymore. They took it out since eFootball 23. Um, but this card is going to be phenomenal, right? And especially with the player skills, especially what you can train him. He's got unwavering form. His weak foot accuracy is high, even though he rarely uses it. It's just an all-round fantastic card. And again, he's got amazing run and speeding bullet. Um, if you're simming games and stuff, and also for how he handles off the pitch or off the off off your control, it's a very interesting card. I definitely think a lot of people will spin for him. But yeah, it is going to be it is going to be interesting to see how many of the you know the the the, the people that are used to spin and actually spin because there's a lot of good center forwards in the game at the moment. So. Let me know what you guys think. We will probably spin later in the live stream. Let me know what you guys think of these cards. Will you spin or skip? Hope you guys enjoy those guides, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.